Hey, what's up guys? It is Card Shuffler 99 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool card trick performed by both Matt Franco and John Dorenboss, two really great magicians. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Now guys, don't forget to enter into the 150,000 subscriber giveaway. If you want to enter, just like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment something in the comment section, and make sure your post notifications are turned on. We're giving away 12 Monarch decks of cards, $150 of Amazon gift cards, and a signed deck by both of us here at Card Shuffler. 99 now guys we were uh, we are going to be starting something new here on the channel We're gonna be offering a little bit of a service for you guys What we're going to be doing is running something through our Instagram So if you don't follow our Instagram, you can check that out in the description or our email You can check that out as well either way works what we're going to be doing is we're offering a service to any small business out there so if you guys have a small business trying to sell a product uh, if you guys are running a little charity Anything like that that you guys want, you can basically, through email, through Instagram DM, pitch us your idea, pitch us your product, pitch us your business, pitch us your cause, and if we like it, if you guys do a good job at selling your product, your cause, whatever it is you're trying to do, we will promote it here on the, basically, Card Shuffler 99. We will promote it in one of our videos and basically help you guys get exposure. So we're going to try to give back to you guys, so if anyone out there is trying to start up a small business, anything like that, Feel free to email us once again down in the description or Instagram DM. Any of those work, preferably email. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to try that out, uh, we will be happy to give you guys some exposure through the channel. Anyway, guys, let's get straight into this card trick. So, Rob, we're going to play a little game today. Play a little game here with the aces. So, I'm just going to go through. I'm just going to grab the four aces from the deck. Perfect. So, here we go, Robert. All we need is the four aces. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to assign three random cards to each of the aces. So all we need is three random cards for each ace. Now, these actually can 100% be random cards. They don't have to be um, from a specific location. You can see here I can take random cards. In fact, if you really want to, go ahead and grab three cards out of the deck. It doesn't matter which three cards. Place them down wherever you want. Same thing. Just so you know that I'm not forcing any cards on you, these are 100% free selections all right robert here's what we're going to do we're going to play around with one ace at a time so we're going to start here we'll start out with the ace of diamonds so here's what we're going to do we're going to take the ace of diamonds snap my fingers and just like that i can actually get the ace of diamonds to completely disappear from the packet let's move on here we're going to move to the ace of clubs robert we're moving on to the ace of clubs same deal all i have to do is give it a little flip a little snap just like that, I can get one, two, three, four, but no ace. Robert, watch closely one more time here. You can see we got one last ace here. We're going with the ace of hearts. Snap my fingers. Just like that. One, two, three, four. We can get the ace to disappear. Now, Robert, obviously they all have to go somewhere. You can see here they all go right back to the ace of spades. That is the trick, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. It's a really cool trick. And anyway, let's get straight into the tutorial. So, guys, this is a really cool little trick. Once again, it was performed by both John Dornboss and Matt Franco. A really cool effect. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to teach you guys exactly how you guys can go about doing this. Now, there are a couple different ways you can do this. So, the original way is going to involve simply just the way I did it, right? Just simple cards. Now, if you guys, you may or may not have caught on to what was going on, but you could see when I was doing a few of the moves, the cards were actually changing. Now, there's a reason behind this, and the main reason is because you're going to be playing around with three double face cards. So, that is the one caveat when you're doing this trick, is that you're playing around with double face cards. So, what you can do here is if you really wanted to, you can do this same trick with blank cards. Now, that's a little bit harder because you would need, obviously, a full blank deck with the exception of your aces. And not only that, instead of having random double face or double uh, face cards, basically, you would need aces and then blank cards on the other side. So that's a little bit harder to come across, but the effect, honestly, would look better using the blank cards. The reason I'm not using it today is because I want to show you guys that you can accomplish the same effect without having to buy these expensive gimmicks. All I did to set this trick up was grab some double-sided tape from the store, grab a deck of cards. You need two decks for this, obviously, because you're going to need multiple aces. 
and basically I just taped the cards back to back and that's all you're going to need for this now once again if you wanted to do this with blank cards you would need a full blank deck of cards you would need four normal aces that will have to match the same back color and then obviously the other three aces instead of having random cards on the back as a double face card you would need blank cards on the other side but for this case what we're going to do is I'm just going to take three random cards here and I'm going to use double sided tape stick it to the back to create some double facers and then these four aces are going to be set now there's one card that you're not going to need a repeat for and for me I like to use the ace of spades this is going to be the final card sort of where the, all the aces are going to teleport to so this is going to be the last ace so you're not going to need two of them you're just going to need a duplicate for the other three aces so how do I go about setting up this deck well what you're going to do is you're going to take the three aces that are duplicates now these are the normal ones these aren't the double facers and you're going to take these and you're going to place them directly on top of the deck okay so these are going to go straight on top of the deck from here you're going to go from the bottom of the deck and just start placing in the other aces i like to place the ace of spades last and make sure you want to keep a good distance between the last ace and the three aces on top because what you want to do is when you're spreading through the deck looking for the aces you want to be able to stop finding the aces before you have to spread too far in and then you're going to reveal these three aces at the top so keep a little bit of distance a little bit of spacing there and you should be okay so what you're going to need to do is you're going to start the trick by saying that you're going to find the four aces so i'm going to go through i'm going to say okay we're going to find one ace you can find two three and the fourth ace stop right there obviously you don't want to spread all the way to the top that's going to reveal the other aces and that's something that you definitely don't want to flash at the beginning of the trick now what i like to do is you're going to find the one ace that you don't have duplicated so for me i like to use the ace of spades what you're going to do is you're going to take the top three cards which are going to be the aces and you're going to place it on top now if you really wanted to you could shuffle the deck maintaining the three cards on top and just pretend like you're mixing it up you can do a false cut false shuffle anything like that as long as you can maintain the three aces on the top of the deck you're fine because all you have to do is then take the first three cards place them down on the ace now after you do this it's basically just an attempt to convince the spectator that you're giving random cards now these three here are obviously not random those are the other three aces that's going to be the end result of the trick the rest of the cards can be completely random so all you can do here is you can let them select the cards you can show that you can just grab random ones just like this really for the last three piles you need to sell the idea that these are random cards the best way i think to sell that you're uh that these first three cards are random even though you're taking three consecutive cards is to shuffle the deck and just maintain them on the top that's probably the best way to do it from there once again you can have them select three cards doesn't matter and you're done the rest of the deck can go away now you can start with whichever ace you want remember this ace of spades is not going to be touched to the end all you do is you take three cards you turn it face up you can show them as you go to close the spread you're going to hold a pinky break right above both cards so right above the double face ace and the card right below it you're going to hold a pinky break you're going to flip that over and just like that what's going to happen here is it's going to disappear because what you just did was you flip that ace over now that's the caveat right there is this part this little part right here where basically what's happening is you can see here there is no ten of diamonds so if they're paying attention if they place like really close attention to this what will happen here is they're going to basically flip this over and just like that now a ten of diamonds is going to appear out of nowhere and you can snap your fingers and show the ace but for the most part if you do it quick enough and efficiently enough most spectators don't really catch on you just don't want to draw attention to the values of the cards same thing here grab a pinky break on the two cards you're gonna flip it over snap your fingers and you can go ahead and show that they change one more time once again same thing same deal break on two flip it over and just like that the aces disappear and then they all manage to reappear right back at the beginning now that is the trick guys now once again i just want to talk a little bit to you guys about our little service that we want to offer so basically we're just going to try to help you guys out we know that it's really really hard especially in the business sector nowadays 
One of the hardest things is just getting exposure and getting notice out there of your product, of your service, um, of your cause, whatever it is you're trying to do. So just let us know, pitch your idea to us. If you do a good job, if we really like your pitch, we will promote whatever it is you guys are trying to do and we will help get you guys some exposure through our viewership. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Card Shuffler 99. Peace out.